good morning I apologize I'm using GoPro this morning for some reason I done some video work and left my camera on and what I'm going to do is to simplify my life a lot right here this is going to be the lumen that's going to be used for the chuck jaws on the mill of the drill press vise and I'm just going to kind of rough them out here there's going to be a lot more milling involved I wonder if I can just get two out of this. Well, I sure all about can. See how much overhang I got. I may end up cutting it out of each end because I want some overhang. It'd be better to cut it off over here. So I'm just making, I'm going to, this is just a rough sketch. I'm going to go to my saw and install it outside of these lines. So, this chunk of aluminum will do. Theoretically, I make it. I don't know. No, I can't quite go. Well, it doesn't matter because this is going to be. Let me check this. Yeah, I need to go ahead. I'd rather do it this way. But I could theoretically cut it out of this piece here, like that, and I'm setting it in there crooked and laying it out and milling it off of this and save something. But I think I'm going to stick with this because I've got some pretty straight edges to work with. So let's go over to the saw. There's one of the blocks uh, roughed out of what my material I had. Okay, I, off camera I squared this up in the mill. So what I've done is I've laid this line out right here. I don't want to mill this block this much. So I'm going to take the saw and just rough these out too. So I thought I'd show you just a little more saw action. And this is where I really wanted to saw for. This just comes in so much handy to have for little stuff like what I'm doing. So we'll just get started. I got me something to push it with. Now. I'll just use this block when I get down to the end. But I probably won't show you guns that. enough to show you what I'm doing. Basically what I'm doing is sending these down save mill time because milling all that material off so we you know we'll get that done. All right we're gonna go ahead and trim this and this one down. I'm gonna try to do a milling shot. Maybe a little shake to this as I'm right on the milling machine and I'm gonna clean it up and figure out how much I'm gonna stick out. This is just enough mill to get it clean here short pass as you see what we're doing. Not going to be much. You notice this is just a piece of stock we saw. It was band saw. Uh, that's what it worked for. Okay, all I'm going to do here just true the end up a little bit. Where it's salt. This is stainless by the way. I ain't got all the saw out of it yet. I don't care if these are not perfect. I just want to, and the reason I ordered and decided to use stainless rod is because of this simple matter. Uh, the way my shop is. And I felt like that stainless was a better choice. Just because of, you know, basically moisture and whatnot. All right, I'm going to flip this thing around and get both of these fixed up. Okay. And the way I'm going to drive this, 
because I'm going to use this piece of one inch head stock and I'm going to clean it up here a little bit but I'm just facing it off right now and this one inch piece of head stock is what I can do is I've got a one inch wrench here in the lathe and I've got a uh, you know, a few other things laying around. Instead of putting a handle on it, I'm going to use this one inch piece of stock to drive this thing in. So, that's the plan. Uh, so, we're going to drill it and tap it, and then we'll cut it off and we'll screw it on there temporarily to kind of get a handle where we're going to cut it. So, sometimes this center grill just wants to hang up. Hold on, the one I thought I had. Long grill, hold on a second. Had it over on the mill. Alright. I mean, shift the gear or two here and get a little slower. You know, this vice is inspired by Mr. Pete. Mr. Pete never liked to drill stuff fast. I tend to agree with you. We're going to go in there about three quarters of an inch here with the tap drill. We'll probably tap this by hand. We'll get it started in the machine. We'll probably the hand tap it. Then we'll cut it off. How much have I got there? Need a little more. Yeah. We'll probably pin this or set screw this or something like this too. I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to start this tap and I don't believe it's going to go. usually what happens with these they don't go good so let me get it loose and I'll put a, pot, a wrench okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off right here and I'm gonna do this one a little more by hand because it's being interrupted and cutting off this head stock I don't want to Or at least till I get past the heads. Because, you know. See, that way when you get past the heads, that's awful rough on these tools. We'll get this faced off. Obviously, we'll clean the rust off. This is a piece of hex stock I've had for a while. I actually bought it for a project. Ordered it at Master Car. So. This is, you know, what I'll do is we'll turn this around, we'll face it off. We'll clean it up. We'll, we'll take it over to the uh, uh, belt sander and debar it because being it's being hexed, it'd be better to do it that way. We'll take us a little bit of a sandpaper, you know, some emery cloth. And just kind of. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is one of them inexpensive insults. eBay, I don't know if it's a bang good or whatever for my cutoff tools. I never have really had really expensive cutoff insults, truthfully. I always use these inexpensive ones. 
Usually I order the blades on eBay too, by the way. I've never had no trouble cutting off my lathe like some folks have, even with the blocks. I do. I did make a couple different blocks. You've probably seen the videos if you follow my channel a lot. Uh, the only thing I would tell you about these, I've never had no luck with high-speed steel blades at all. And I usually like the three millimeter blades because they're just a little wide. But outside of that, this is just one of them inexpensive holders off eBay. I did build this when I've got nothing up there at the top. I've had good results with them, unlike some people. All right, we're facing it off now. Knock the tent off. I'll take this over to the belt sander off camera and it's hit the chamfer. We'll probably take some sand. Uh, I'll take these emery off I got right here. knocked off but that did not face off the thing off the wall reason. I think folks, let me just do this again. That's what it is. <laughs> thought that's what it was. <sighs> so we'll do this again. Right. Okay, what we're doing now is this is a ready nut. We're just going to face it off. Let it rod to the shaft. We've already put the limb. We're just truing everything. There's a couple operations we want to do here. And just for the sake of it. The uh, reason I decided to use threaded rod or a standard thread instead of acne is A, this is easily available, taps are available. And for the, actually what I'm using is for in the home shop. ain't gonna be that bad. Alright. See it's knocked the bar right off the edge here and it's good to go. That way we won't have such short I'm gonna have to do the other side that way. Now I gotta pull this out to where I've got my little screw dent for the retraction and do something like I did the other rods. All right there is the completed vice finished up you got the drive here, <coughs> the drive, see it fits on this one. I could have put a handle on it, but I thought, and this is my thinking, this is a one inch wrench I keep on the lathe. See how handy it is to put something in it and tighten it up. So, there's a couple things that, that I did, but I didn't really, wasn't in the original plan. And I'm just going to tighten it up on this uh, V-block here in a second. I'm going to put this V-block in here long ways. I can. Like I say, this is a drill press vise, so it's not got to be as accurate as a milling vise. And I wanted one like this because I, need, I only have two. So you see, there you go. That's just showing you clamps on something. I just grabbed that V-block up. And the handy thing about it is I did buy the, the stainless rods. And I did have to kind of turn them a little bit to get the movement that I was looking for. There's a little bit of misalignment in there. And I, and I guess it cannot be helped the way I ended up making it. But see, there it is. I hope Mr. Pete gave me at least a C on this. So I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, I made the jaws. Like I said, I looked at some of his drill press vices. And I, this is my third drill press vice. I only own three. And I needed a little larger one. So that's the reason I've done this.
So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So, uh, let's just uh, have a great day. Okay, this is your buddy Jim. And I'm sitting here at the drill press with this vice that I have finished. This, this is the finish of this video uh, series. Uh, <coughs> I said earlier in the clip, close to the end, you know, this is a project that I took on. And I, I am tickled how it's turned out. Took a little bit of extra engineering than I figured. But it, it will do the job. We've got aluminum soft jaws in it so you can put work in it. You don't have to worry about marring it up. Um, it's, it uses a one inch wrench. And I'm just tickled to death. Okay, so I want to remind you of something while we're standing here or sitting here. I'm just I'm gonna close a little different than normal. This is a copyrighted production of James Dedden and Sawlaws Plastic Hubs for your entertainment, enjoyment, and some education on YouTube. I hope <coughs> let me move the camera around where I'm at so you can see me. Here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this. It's took me a while. I've been into the racing business and everything else, so uh this is a project I've been wanting to do for myself ever since I've seen Mr. Pete's vice. And since I can't cast, and you don't want to cast cast anyway unless you send it down to Clark Easterly. And then you'd have to have foundry patterns and such, and <coughs> I'm not a foundry man. So I was lucky I had this piece of cast iron from Grandpa Deadman, and I'm glad it turned out for us. So all that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next series of videos. Thank you and have a great day.